Okay guys, so we started off with something weird like this, new extruder. There's a video on this uh, prototype and uh, the evolution has uh, taken place. <laughs> we are now at iteration uh, 3 or something and we moved from NEMA 17 to NEMA 14. So this is what we have now. Watch in the end and when you will see me demonstrate this uh, extruder. And I will also show you the, the COD model. Let's go to Fusion 360. Here you can see the COD model. Uh, so this is a 3 to 1 gearing using all the Bontek gears. Uh, I have a latch system. This latch system is not final. I will finish that later. Leave a comment down below on what you think about the system. But watch the demonstration video first. I'm also waiting for motors to arrive, so I 3D printed a motor for uh, demonstration purposes and also for prototyping. So let's go to the demonstration video. Okay guys, here's a look at uh, my new extruder. So this is uh, now a NEMA 14 motor. This motor is just 3D printed at uh, the moment because uh, I'm waiting for hardware to arrive with a boat from China. But this is just proof of uh, concept. So I opened it up uh, on the top here so we can have a look inside as well. Uh, it might be open um, when finished or we might close it. I, I'm not sure what's the best option. Uh, leave a note down below for your uh, comments on that and also the rest of the build. So we can access the drive wheel here with uh, our finger, which is nice for uh, inserting filament or retraction or whatever. So that's nice. Uh, I also have a latch system here. This latch system is not uh, finished. I'm trying to avoid using a spring loaded screw system as on the Bontec. Uh, I want to try to use um, some sort of clip system to clip the, the filament gear in place. The dual, the dual gear, the second gear, first gear we can see here. And uh, the second gear sits uh, here. I'm trying to design for printability as uh, much as uh, possible. The main body is two parts, uh, all prints without any support. It's very light. It might be changes to this. If you want to see changes to the design, leave me a comment. The attachment is not uh, finished. I I'm not sure how we are going to attach this thing to our carrier might be different from um, printer to printer. We'll find some solution for that later. Let's insert some filament. So I have a PTFE tube here and then also one at the bottom. So for inserting filament, should be easy. Just push it down and uh, we can start to, to turn it, uh, to turn the motor around or use our finger on the gear here to load the filament. It also easily loads uh, with the motor. I can show you uh, first. I want to show you the function here with the motor. So it should be also easy just to use the motor. Just push the filament down and start extruding. There you go. It's very easy to load the filament with this extruder. Uh, it's a 3 to 1 gearing at the moment. There will also be a design for a, a, a 5 to 1 gearing. I ordered two motors. This motor uses the Bontech uh, pinion gear and I ordered one motor with a different uh, pinion, uh, which is smaller, which gives us a 5 to 1 gearing uh, for higher torque. So I will try both of them. I might release both of them um, and see what people prefer. So again, leave a comment down below for that as well. And what do you think about uh, this uh, design? 
If you like it, uh, hit the like. <laughs> and also subscribe for more project updates and uh, 3D printing and 3D modeling and prototyping. So thank you for joining in and I'll see you guys soon.